So today I'm going to film my March and April favorites for you. I was having such a hard time figuring out what I was loving for the last two months for some reason. I was like literally picking out stuff I've been using for like only the last two weeks for this video. And then I remembered that I went to Phoenix for spring break in March, so I was like, wait a minute, that was only like five weeks ago. So I had to think back to what I was liking that long ago and I was having a really tough time with it. But I did come up with some stuff. It's all pretty simple. I don't have a whole lot because I have been keeping my makeup routine pretty basic for the last couple of months. So I guess I'll just jump into what I have here. So I didn't really have a favorite foundation in March. I think I was kind of still just using whatever. But one thing that I was really into with my skin was making it really dewy. So I kind of went through a phase where I was like obsessed with having luminous, glowy looking skin. And since I am kind of oily, I can't just wear a dewy looking foundation and leave it like that. I have to use a lot of powder. So I have to use specific products that give me that kind of glow to my skin. So the two products that I was obsessed with using every day were both by Becca. The first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. It's it's one of the liquid luminizers so it comes in this little tube and basically what I was doing with this was just dotting it in the places that I wanted to highlight before I set my makeup with powder and I was blending it in over top of my foundation with a blending sponge and then I would go on and set my face so you could kind of still see the luminizer through the powders because I only use translucent powders and then what I was doing after that was I was setting the highlight with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector powder version in the color Moonstone. So even though they are two different shades, I found that it still worked fine because this one wasn't strong enough that it like affected the look of the powder. But I just liked the two of these paired together. I thought that like doubling up on the highlighters gave me a really nice effect and it did make my skin look really glowy and I still do use these but I have other highlighters that I've kind of switched out now so I'm basically still doing the same system just with different products. Love those and they're still great products, I still reach for them occasionally. Another product that I kind of rediscovered in March was my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've had this thing literally forever and I kind of just stopped using it because I have so many matte bronzers now so it kind of just got lost in my drawers. But I believe I seen somebody use it on a YouTube video and it made me bust it out again and then I kind of became obsessed with it again. So it's pretty much been my everyday bronzer since then. Basically it's just like the perfect neutral bronzer color. It's not too orange and it's not too cool. It's kind of right in the middle but maybe more so on the cool side. And I just think it's a great product. I always recommend this to people to have it in their makeup collection. So if you guys don't have it and you've been wondering if you should purchase it, I highly recommend it because I think that it's just perfect for pretty much everybody. For my brows in March, I pretty much only used one product for the entire month, which was the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. I'm pretty sure I've showed this in a favorites video before, but I can't remember, but I have still been using it since that last point. So I was using this for quite a while. I was always really skeptical to try it because, I mean, when I think about putting like a cream in my brows, I just thought it was going to be really harsh. But I'm a true believer that it is the way that you apply it that matters, if that makes sense. So um, it is kind of a pricey item, but the amount that comes in here is actually outrageous because I only tap my brush in it like the tiniest little bit and that's enough for one brow. So I literally feel like this will last me like five years at the rate that I'm going. Probably one of my favorite things about it was that it lasted all day long. This came to Phoenix with me as well and Phoenix gets crazy hot, but I never had any issues with this coming off. It literally stayed on my face all day long from the second I applied it to the second that I removed it at nighttime. I haven't been using it as much recently because I've kind of been on a pencil kick lately but it's one of those products that I still reach for occasionally and I just think all around it's a favorite. Mascara in March pretty much stayed the same. I was obsessed with my Benefit Roller Lash. This was definitely in my last favorites video and I've just been using it ever since pretty much. I'm still on the same tube but I'll probably have to get another one soon because I can start to feel it drying out. But I actually kind of like it better when it's drying out. It makes my lashes like not clumpy at all and just really fans them out nicely. I like this mascara when I want a really natural long lash look. It's not so good if you want a lot of volume and va va boom, but it's really nice if you have short stumpy lashes. I don't have short stumpy lashes, but sometimes I just like that really nice 
feathered natural soft look so I think that this is really great for that um, it's definitely not one of those mascaras though that's going to give you like a false eyelash look necessarily it will for length but it's just not going to make them look super thick so um, I have been loving it and I'm still using it to this day and then the other mascara that I've been loving recently I don't think I was using it in March but I think I kind of reached for it like at the beginning of April maybe the end of March is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara this is definitely been in my videos before I'm obsessed with this stuff I kind of forgot about it for a little bit and stopped using it but I found it again in my makeup collection and fell in love with it all over again this is one of those mascaras that's really good if you want that really big fake eyelash look it gives a ton of volume and it is even borderline clumpy to me but I don't mind that look sometimes because I have long eyelashes so for me it kind of evens itself out in the long run if you have really short lashes I don't know if this would be very good because I think it would just kind of build up on them and make them look really weighed down but I love this one when I want more of a dramatic look and it is from the drugstore so that's a bonus <laughs> and then the lip color that came everywhere with me in the month of March was MAC subculture lip liner this is such a natural nude shade um, it's pretty much the perfect nude lip liner for me. It's definitely not a pink nude, but I like this one when I just want like a really simple color on my lips. It's kind of similar to what I have on right now. The only thing that I have to complain about it is that it is really drying. So every time I wear it, I end up having to like scrub my lips down and then reapply it a couple times in the day because I find that it like really sucks the moisture out and kind of cakes up on my lips. Um, but I love the color too much to not wear it. So this one came everywhere with me. It's pretty short now because I've used a lot of it. And I'm still using it right now actually. So it's definitely been a favorite for a long time. The last product that I have here that I was obsessed with in March is my Loving Tan Bronzing Mousse. Um, I have a full self-tanning routine on this. It was like two videos ago that I can link down below for you guys if you haven't seen it. But in March, I was like obsessed with being tan. I think it's because I was like in spring break mode and I just wanted to be like bronzed and glowy all the time. But I was using this literally like once a week. I don't even think I was letting my tan wear off before I was reapplying it. Like I was tanned all the time. I just went through that phase where that's all I wanted to be. So I was using the shade Dark, which I'm actually out of. So I have the medium here, which is what I have on right now. It is a little bit lighter, but I still feel like I'm nice and tanned with that one. So I'm still really loving it. But for some reason, March was like my biggest self-tanning phase that I've ever had. So it definitely had to be included in that. In April, I definitely found a new foundation that I became obsessed with. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation from the drugstore. I went through this huge phase in April of wanting to try new drugstore products. I probably bought like four new foundations from the drugstore in total that month or this month I guess because it's still April but this was honestly the only one that I liked out of everything that I bought it's the only one that I bought that actually lasted on my skin all day and looked the same when I first applied it as it did at the end of the night if that makes sense everything else came off after like two hours and separated where I got oily and just didn't look good on me by the end of the day but this one honestly stays the exact same. It keeps me matte all day long and I just really like um, the way that it applies on my skin. I think that it's a really great coverage and I love the color selection as well. I've been pairing it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is something I've been using for such a long time but it's another one of those things that I kind of rediscovered this month. So I've been wearing these two together and for keeping me matte and for lasting power, it's like a 10 out of 10. I bought it in two shades. The shade that I have on right now is 104 Golden Beige. And like I said, I do have the medium self tanner on. I have a darker shade as well in the foundation that I bought for my dark mousse. So depending on what color my skin tone is at the time is which foundation I wear. But right now this one works great for me. I think it's a really good color. So if you self tan with a medium-ish kind of self tanner, then definitely check out Golden Beige because I think it's a good shade. This is so random, but the eyeshadow I've been wearing every day for the last month is also by L'Oreal. It is the Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. I'm sure you guys have heard about this before because it used to be so popular on YouTube. And like I said, I did some digging around in my makeup collection and kind of found stuff that I had forgotten about. So this was definitely one of those products. I kind of seen it sitting there and I was like, hey, 
I used to really like this. It's really pretty, so maybe I should try it again. And I've pretty much been wearing it on my lid ever since that point. It's one of those shades that looks really natural on the eyelids and goes really nicely with a tan. These are really easy to apply. You can even apply them with your finger. They're very low maintenance, and I find that they're just really quick and easy. They last all day. They have really good color payoff, and they have really nice color selection. So I've been really liking this Amber Rush shade. And I know I have a couple other shades in my makeup collection, so maybe I'll have to bust into that and see what else I have and try it out. And then my favorite lip combination for the month has been yet another MAC lip liner. This one is in the shade Whirl. It's definitely a lot darker than the subculture one that I showed earlier, but I still like this one because it's good for defining the outer edge of my lips. I use it very lightly because I want it to still look nude. I don't want it to look like a dark brown, which it can kind of show up on me as if I apply it too heavily. So I basically define the outer edge of my lips with it and then softly blend it in with my finger and then I go in and fill the rest of my lips in with this Gosh Forever Lip Shine in the shade Sweet Moments. This is basically just like a really moisturizing shiny jumbo lip crayon that you can twist up. I love the shade selection of these. I love the way that they smell and I love how moisturizing they are. I can just pop these on really easily and they don't get cakey on my lips or like suck out all the moisture or anything. So I've been really liking these. I actually have them in a couple different shades but this is by far my favorite one because it's just the easiest one to wear. I usually just throw this one in my purse and carry it around with me and that's why it's kind of become my everyday lip color. So this combination has been my favorite. It's it is what I have on right now, so if you guys like that, then this is what it is. So I'll have that all down below for you guys so you can check it out. I'm not sure where you can buy Gosh if you live in the States. I know if you live in Canada, most shoppers drug marts have it, but I will try to find a website that carries it for you Americans because I'm not sure if you can buy it in stores. I've never seen anybody talk about it before, so I will double check on that for you guys. And then my last two favorites are both hair care products, which is weird because I almost never include hair care products, but I've been really loving these two. So the first one is a conditioner. It is the Vitamin E Conditioner by Organics. I buy this at the drugstore, and mainly I'm just obsessed with the scent of this. It is like, if I could make this into a perfume, and bathe myself in it, I actually would. Basically what I do with this, because it is a little bit more of an intense um, conditioner, is I only apply it from like root down, so right on my ends, and I find that it makes them really soft, really silky, it rinses out so nice in the shower, makes my hair smell amazing. My boyfriend Justin comments on it. Every time I shower, he says my hair smells super good, so I've been blaming it on this. I think that's probably what it's from, because I love the smell of it as well. So yeah, definitely been a favorite. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I still have quite a bit left because like I said I only use it on half my head so it is lasting me quite a while but I'll definitely be repurchasing it when I'm out. And then the other product is also a conditioner but this one is a leave-in. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I bought this ages and ages ago, probably like four years ago in Hawaii when I went to a beauty supply store and I still have like a lot left in the bottle but I've been loving this because when I went on my trip to Phoenix I brought this and I was using it a lot because I was swimming and I was in the desert and my hair was getting really, really dry and brittle feeling. So I was basically applying this at the end of the night and going to sleep with it in. And then um, when I wake up in the morning, my hair is just really, really soft. I've been really loving this again. Like I said, I've used it a couple times in the last few years, but it's just another one of those things that I kind of rediscovered. So definitely been a favorite. And I know it's kind of pricey, but I think it's a really great leave-in conditioner. So I highly recommend it recommend it. And that is it for my March and April favorites. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot. Um, and I did try to include more drugstore products in this one because I know in my last favorites video I got a lot of comments saying that I was using too many high-end products. So I totally understand that. But basically my only explanation is that um, you know, I do have a full-time job along with YouTube, and I like to splurge on makeup. It's just one of those things that I've always liked to buy. And when a new high-end product comes out that everyone's raving about, obviously I want to try it. So in April, I was definitely trying to be more conscious of 
price ranges for you guys and I did hit up the drugstore and buy lots of new stuff so I hope that you guys find this video a little bit more helpful and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did like it I'll have all of the products along with all of my links linked down below for you guys so definitely check out the description bar and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already of course also leave any video requests that you guys have down below for me and yeah I love you guys all so much and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video Shh.